about Billy Dunn if it comes again? Billy's father. Stand up, Bill. Give him, give him a hand. Go on. You guys remember Billy's dad. Can, is the media allowed to clap? You guys look like bombs. <laughs> Coaching uh, 15 minutes. One of my favorite people, by the way, of all time. That is a good man right there. Yes. Coach, in uh, 15 minutes, Isaac Humphreys had six rebounds, two blocks. Did he earn yes. some potential play in, yes. in the future? Yeah, he, he earned his space. And, and I'm so happy for him because he has worked so hard and hasn't had the opportunity. And what he did was he took advantage. And we all look and say, you need to, he needs to play. Let him play. And then you've got to stop waiting on some other guys. You get to say, hey, he, he deserves it. I thought Marcus Lee was really good today, very active. Uh, Derek was a little in and out today. He wasn't himself, but he made the shot that we needed, this, the gap to help us win. He didn't up rebound in the first half. But um, Isaac was terrific. I thought Jamal, other than two or three plays that he just can't help himself, the way he played was really good. And then Tyler Eulis. I told Tyler, this is a 15 assist game for you because of how they play. They really, um, it's old school. You're not getting to the rim. And uh, he had 11 assists. I said, you didn't quite get 15, but you had 11. Yeah, you guys obviously have some issues, some warts, some things you're still trying to work through. But when you have guard play like that, when you have Tyler and Jamal capable of doing those things and you look towards Tournament time down the road. How can you got to have some, can somebody next to that basket? Maybe it's Isaac. Maybe Scout keeps coming. Um, but I do know if Marcus Lee will do what he did today, we have some room. Um, but it's good. You know what we did Thursday, and, and literally, the people there were there were people in the building. We went for two and a half hours, and it was a body to body, mono mono, rebound defend, play. I mean, it, you know, I, I was mean at times, but that wasn't what it was. It was the bar was raised of what we were accepting. And I thought guys were terrific. And then yesterday was more of a cleanup day. And, and you can't blame these kids. We, I, and I said it, I got away from defense because I was trying to get us better offensively because I thought you cannot be a team that's scoring 38% and not have enough offense, which we were for a while. Now we've gotten better offensively and we started stinking on defense and rebounding and I went back to it. So this is one of those teams that I probably got to spend the time, uh, more time than I'd like to make sure we don't get away from rebounding and drills and teaching and, and defense and how we're going to play. John, did uh, Jamal have beer muscles today? Is he susceptible to that sort of thing? Because he got off to a good start. No, he was ready to play. The, the, again, they're still learning how to win. Like. Isaiah drove the lane, has the guy in the corner, but he has to look away and throw it underhand. And I went bonkers. Why would you do that? Uh, Jamal went on a drive right and had a layup, but he had to finger roll it. He had to do the ice man. Whee! The problem was it was an air ball. I mean, and that's the kind, like, why would you do that? I don't know. Like, we still have defensive plays um, where guys are getting beat back door or, where we're not, we're not running back and forming a wall. There's just so many little things that you cannot be what you all want us to be until we can play 40 minutes of basketball, dig in and play. Every possession matters on defense. And we're not close to that right now. But we got a month. So within a month, I got to get them convinced. They're fighting me. They don't think we have to. And, and I say, well, let's think back to Tennessee. Maybe we don't have to. I mean, you cannot play sometimes. You've got to play. But it was nice today. I thought Charles did okay. But again, Charles misses a couple shots, and then he can't play. Breaks down on defense, one-hand rebounds. You know, it just he's just he's a young kid that's learning. John, two quick things for you. Mike White talked about how disruptive Tyler was on defense. He just blew those things for them. Then you did notice Jamal had 35 points, right? I didn't know until after. I knew he had a lot of points. He knew he had a lot. <laughs> Tried to make that last one. <laughs> no, I, I like what Tyler did. I like what Isaiah did. I mean, when when Isaiah goes and goes six assists one turn, and I'm telling him, do not drive to get fouled. You either pass it or shoot a layup. Do not go in there and throw your body into somebody and think you did something good. 
You're missing free throws, so don't do it. Just drive it and pass it, or drive it and shoot a layup. So he's getting better, but uh, you know, it was a great bounce back game. You think about it, we, we just had two tough games. I mean, going to Kansas and losing and, and how we lost, and then having a 21 point lead at Tennessee. And, and I said, Rick Barnes just did a fabulous job of having his team ready and they never quit. They played like his teams do. They defend, they rebound, they're tough, they're physical. And when it got close, we had some guys fouling out and, you know, I don't want to be in this. And we learned. Uh, but to have do this against this team, and again, you have to understand, this team beat West Virginia by 20. And they had won five of six games. Um, so they had been playing well. But this is uh, this was good for us. Good win. Cal, uh, yeah, right here, Cal. This team was uh, the best offensive rebounding team in the league. And, uh, and you would address somewhat about what you've done in practice uh, uh, physically. Uh, Mike White said that uh, he was surprised by your physicality. Yeah, well, we just we beat the crap out of each other for two days, so hopefully it carried over. But the other thing is I had to take Derek out in the first half. He had three offensive rebounds. So nine of those offensive rebounds, three of them were on Derek Willis. And then in the second half, you saw that he rebounded the ball. So they couldn't make that run. And I keep telling them, you don't even have to make shots if you'll rebound and defend. I can leave you on the floor. You can go 0 for 5, um, which he won't. But you could if you rebound and defend. The first half, it didn't matter that he made shots. He had three rebounds where he didn't, he didn't go be physical. Cal, I think uh, Tyler, seven or eight of those assists went to Jamal. How much over the course of this season have they learned to play together? It's, uh, I think Still it's been, learning. Been Still learning. A little bit, but We're trying to get Jamal – what, that either catch it and take the thing to the rim. Any inside out pass to him, we'll tell him shoot it. Don't hesitate. If it's inside and it comes out to you, let it go. If you're coming off a screen and you want to drive, drive it coming off a screen. We're trying to tell him do not back it out and do you know the and one take. You just don't play that way. You don't get by anybody. It's an offensive foul. It's a turnover. Just off a screen, catch it and go. Which he was doing better today. There, look, we've got a lot of things we got to teach a lot of players, and it's uh, to be able to do this. Um, I was hoping Dom he didn't feel healthy enough to play. It's funny, uh, five minutes before the game, I, all right, I thought I was going in to talk to the team, and it's the trainer, Alex, in playing today. Who did he step on in the warm-up line? Like I'm gonna fire somebody this time, and he's no, no, he, his knees just been bothering. So he can't go. I walked in and laughed and said, Isaac, you got your chance. Here it is. Go have fun. And he did. I was happy for him. Coach, it didn't, the game was never really in doubt, but it seemed to get a little bit tight. It seems like they, this team struggled a little bit at the end with shorting the game. Is that something that when they learn how to make winning plays will help, or is it something that you can correct? Well, the game got close because we broke down on defense and they executed the crap out of some lobs, some uh, back doors, some different play offensive rebounded twice. And all of a sudden, it, you look around, it's 14. Um, and we, when you're up that many points, you're going to massage it and take a shot late. If you can get it in transition, you do it. If you don't, you grind it out. And that's why historically my teams get up 20, they win. We didn't do it at Tennessee. We shot quick shots. We broke down defensively. We didn't come up with any tough rebounds. And all of a sudden, it went from 20 to 4. This thing never got under 14. And so I thought our kids did good. I, I like how they responded. 10 turnovers in a game. Um, you know, we had a couple games there where we were 14, 15 turnovers. We're not going to win because that's another three or four baskets for that other team. What is the outlook on Alex? Are you, are you not I don't know. He'll, he'll go uh, get x-rayed tomorrow to see. Questions?